Matt Ryan, whoa, and Mariota, Marcus Mariota, yeah, he might actually get to, get to start for once. It's been like what three years? Well, there's kind of a reason for it, but maybe he's, he can be good. I don't know. The one they do, off they go. Catches made, get the first, and a lot more. Julio Jones out in front. He's gonna go all the way. Touchdown. Done on third down and seven. Three receivers to the right. Mariota drops, steps up. He can run a long way. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and zone. 87 yards. Touchdown, Titans. Sorry we didn't do one yesterday. We're gonna do all, all the stuff yes, um, for, for, from yesterday. Wasn't a ton of stuff anyway. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight things happened. Starting off with Jerron Christian getting signed by Kansas City. Probably won't be their starter, but he's a decent backup. He has not a starting caliber tackle, but if he has to come in, it's not the worst thing in the world. Rashad Penny got a one-year 5.75 million. Of course, his best year as a pro. And yeah, he probably could be their starter. I don't know. Maybe he can play like he did last year, and then he can prove that he's an actual starter. But so far, he's been a bust. Kamal Gruger Hill, um, outside linebacker, he's a solid one. He's going to go to uh, back to the Texans. I'm okay with this. He's not that bad. Honestly, he could have been a lot worse than he was. So, yeah, I don't think this was a bad move. Uh, Bradley Bozeman, uh, center going to the Panthers, of course, former Raven. Pretty solid. They need an offensive lineman. This is actually a pretty nice contract. Leo Collins, we don't know the details on it, but we do know it's a three-year deal. So, they got another tackle. Joe Burrow needs to be protected. Of course, they already have one with uh, Jonah Williams, but... They just need to keep building a better offensive line. They they're really investing in, which is a really good thing. Derek Nottie is going to can is going to ca um, back to Kansas City. Like whatever, he's been okay his whole career. Gerald Everett, two year, twelve million with the Chargers. Had his best year as a pro with uh, Seahawks last year. Um, of course, he's uh, back. One of the worst starting tight ends in the NFL now, but whatever. Corey Littleton, one year, two point six million with Carolina. He had no production in with the Raiders for two years, but. We need him get cut, but could have been worse. Uh, Greg Mann's uh, one-year deal with Buffalo, good backup center. Maybe he'll start. Matt Barkley, one-year deal with Buffalo as their third string, maybe? I don't even know. Trent Brown, uh, two-year contract back with uh, back with the New England for another year. They're, uh, I guess they're going to get an offensive line in. Mike on one who's there, but whatever. Matt Breida, he's going to um, New York to be their backup, maybe even start. I don't know. Was it how Saquon's playing? I really just don't know. Patrick Ricard, second best fullback in the NFL. He's going back to Atlanta. Uh, Lorenzo Carter, one year deal with uh, um, with the Falcons. Of course, former Giants struggled, but let's see if he can do any better in Atlanta. Jihad Ward signs with um, the Giants. They need more edge help. He could be better, but yeah, whatever. Duke Johnson, one year deal with Buffalo. This isn't the biggest move, but. He is a good receiving back. He's a solid player. We'll see what he can do. Matt Ryan got traded to Indianapolis as the headliner third for a third round pick. Yeah, they didn't get a little bit of his contract, but yeah, Atlanta's still paying a lot of it. Honestly, this is a really good move for the Colts. Uh, Atlanta, not the greatest move, but whatever. They didn't really need Matt Ryan anymore. Cleared some cash because he got a lot of dead money, but whatever. The Colts, they got their quarterback for a while. Kind of feels like a Phillip Rivers move, except he's honestly probably he's I wouldn't say he's better than Phillip Rivers. At this moment he is, but Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. Jameis is two year two twenty eight, uh, two years twenty eight million. Of course, he's definitely a starting caliber quarterback. He showed that last year. Going back to New Orleans to be the starter could have been a lot worse. Falcons got Marcus Mariota on a two year deal. He'll most likely start. He's an electric runner with the ball. Of course, he can throw. Like that's not an issue. that's like not his biggest issue. He just struggles to throw a lot of touchdowns and win games and push the ball downfield. Who knows, maybe he got better at it, but he's had two years to think about it, so we'll see if he improved. Zach Pascal, of course, a uh, bad receiver with the Colts, but see what he can do with the Eagles. Laquan Treadwell, um, uh, one of the worst starting wide receivers last year, but he got his targets and he had some good catches, but whatever. He's going back to uh, Jacksonville. Ryan Santos, uh, Santoso could be a bat, could be in a competition, but he got signed by the Jags. Grant Wayne's got caught, not surprising. He has not been very good for them, and... 
Clear the line of cap space. Trent Irwin, wide receiver, good backup to a special, special teamer. He's going back. He's going to the Bengals. That's good. Either way, guys, like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, today. Uh, the day seven of the free agency recap. We'll do another one uh, tomorrow, maybe if there's enough news. But then, yeah, I'll get back to you guys either in a couple days or maybe even tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Like and subscribe. And yeah, ready for the next one.